The questions that I'll be answering in this video include DisplayPort versus DVI, post boot screens, the best case for cleaning out dust, something to do with Internet Explorer and browsing history, will a GTX 460 be a big jump from the 260, where do I buy products, a flash related issue when going full screen, best water cooling coolant, should I upgrade, GTX 460 or the HD5830, and finally, how do I feel about people copying my style of doing videos. Okay, let's get on with it. The first question is DisplayPort versus DVI. DisplayPort stands for Digital Display Interface and DVI stands for Digital Visual Interface. And the big difference between the two is a DisplayPort can carry audio and video and a DVI port cannot. It can only carry video. Now that is in your typical kind of setup, not some kind of modified DVI port, uh, that type of thing. So that would be the big difference between a display port and a DVI port. I should also mention that the display port is designed to replace DVI and the older VGA connectors. This next question is, how do I get rid of a screen when I boot up? Well, this person is talking about the post screen. That screen that you see first when you turn on your computer system. Yes, you can eliminate uh, most of what you see there and sometimes the motherboard uh, BIOS will give you the option to maybe add a logo or an image uh, instead of seeing all that text and stuff that comes up. You'll need to go into your motherboard's BIOS and search for a feature where you can disable that from showing up. Now, I prefer to see it so I you know, can understand what is going on when the system boots up. And if there's something that is incorrect or you know, doesn't look right, uh, you, know, you can spot it right away and go into the motherboard's BIOS and fix it. You might also want to check out a Q&A video that I did quite a while ago on 3dgameman.com. The Q&A video is number 67 and it's about computer post beep codes. This next question is, what is the best case for cleaning out dust? Well, to be honest, any case out there is fine. And even if the case does not come with dust filters on the intake fans, you can always purchase dust filters separately and put them on the fans yourself. Now, one of the cases that I really like currently is the Cooler Master half X, so you might want to check that one out. This next question is about Internet Explorer. Eight. Ooh, I cringe at the thought of having to use Internet Explorer 8. And when I do have to, well, it's not a memorable experience. My favorite browser would be Firefox. Next to that, Google Chrome. So right away, that would solve your problem. Get Firefox or Google Chrome. But to answer your question about um, getting rid and clearing up the browsing data and history, uh, what you can do is uh, open up Internet Explorer first and then hit the Alt key on your keyboard and then go into Tools, Internet Options, General, and in there you'll see the browsing history. You can delete it. And there are all kinds of other settings uh, that you can use as well in there. This next question is, will a GTX 460 be a big jump from my 260? Well, yes it would be a substantial jump because that only is the 460 much faster but remember you can also overclock it and even get more performance out of it so if you're thinking about upgrading to a GTX 460 by all means get rid of that 260 and get a 460. This next question is Rodney where do you buy computer components well when I'm in need of a computer component I normally hop out of my office, run to my vehicle, and then drive to Canada Computers. You can visit them at canadacomputers.com. Why do I shop there? Well, they have the latest and greatest stuff. It's at reasonable prices, and the service and support is also very, very good. Now, I am not in any way affiliated with Canada Computers, so, you know, 
get that out of your head. I'm not promoting them. I'm just telling you. I'm just answering a question where I shop mostly. Uh, also, I uh, sometimes go to Tiger Direct as well, and possibly you know other small computer stores to find something that I need if those stores actually do not have it. I can't say that I shop online a whole lot, um, you know, because mostly I can get it locally, and there is no real need to do that. And usually, if I want something, usually it's like now. I need it now, so I don't want to wait two or three days for it to come. So that's where I normally buy my stuff. I also did a Q&A video on 3dgameman.com. It's Q&A video number 64 and it's about online computer stores in Canada and the United States. This next question is about a video card and Flash. Uh, when this person uh, you know, is trying to play a Flash video full screen, the computer system uh, does the BSOD, which is Blue Screen of Death. Uh, there are many suspects here. Could be a number of things hardware related. Uh, from reading the, the forum thread here on this, it seems like it's video card related, but I mean, it could be, and this sounds maybe uh, completely out there, it could be uh, memory related, oddly enough. Uh, you might want to just install uh, one uh, memory module and then try that and see if that works for you. If you think it is the video card then you probably should remove it and try the uh, onboard video. If that works for you well more than likely it's the video card and if it is the video card you can go ahead and replace it with something else. Uh, I would not, uh, I think you are made it already That's that's and it's not working for you again so what I would do is probably just bring it back to the store and get a refund and um, get something else. And if you can't do that, unfortunately, you're going to have to sell it and then get uh, another video card. Uh, possibly, you know, if you're having problems with this particular uh, brand, go with another brand. Other things that you can do is make sure that all of the computer components have updated drivers and make sure that the motherboard's BIOS is up to date. Now, I believe you have done this but I'm saying it just in case you have not and also uh, if anyone else is having this issue out there well you know some of those things that I mentioned might also help and if anyone out there has a solution for this well head on over to uh, RodneyReynolds.com and you can do a search for flash video error or issue and you should be able to find this thread and uh, you know it would help a lot this next question is, what is the best water cooling coolant? Well, no matter what coolant you get, and there's lots of them out there, make sure that it has anti-corrosive, anti-conductive additives in it. One good one is... The Facer Company. Facer, which is at facer-one.com. The Facer Company. The Facer Company. I could listen to that all day. The Facer Company. This next question is, should I upgrade now? This is a common question. Now, this particular one is about a CPU, but it could be about anything. A video card, a motherboard, uh, you know, a new technology, USB 3, uh, SATA 3, and so on and so forth. Should I wait? Should I just wait and wait and months and months and wait till next year and so on and so forth? Well, you can spend all of your time waiting and not have anything. And, uh, you know, that is not good. Uh, but sometimes waiting is good, so you have to really think about how long you'll have to wait and if you can wait that long for it. Because sometimes if all you're doing is waiting, then you're really not going to have something now that you can use that is still good. It mightn't be as good as something that's going to be released later. But remember, that new technology that's released later will also be replaced by something you know, better than that eventually. So you can always be waiting and waiting and waiting. So my point is just look at it and see how long it is. And if you think, you know, you would prefer to wait and get something, uh, get that than what's, what's current, then I would do it. But otherwise, no. Uh, get something now and, you know, be satisfied with it and possibly upgrade or replace it at a later date. This next question is, should I get the NVIDIA GTX 460 or the ATI HD 5830? Well, I personally would go for the GTX 460 because right now that is the very best 
bang for the buck video card on the planet. And the last question is, how do I feel about people copying my style of videos? Well, to be honest, I don't care a whole lot about it, as long as they're not copying everything, and well, that's a whole different story. If you are doing this, or if you're thinking about doing, you know, similar stuff that I'm doing, like video reviews and Q&A videos and poll videos and all the other things that I'm doing, well, you should try and find your own style, you know, your own personality, your own kind of groove, and that will come along. Don't try and copy somebody else, because more than likely it probably will not work. Uh, you know, you'll find it. Just keep at it and come up with something that is different, something that is unique.